Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of cancer, male cancer, for love and relationship for the month of August responsibility you are having responsibility or changing something in your life at this time stress but in the same time you feel like you know that you are stressed out about starting a new uh, a new thing a new beginning You have hopes, wishes, plans, like you know, to accomplish a lot at this time. But I get here that you have worry and anxiety about something. You might like you not know, really face some period of time that you were depressed also. It looks to me a week ago or more than that. You have been really like you know, withdrawn to yourself, like you know, sitting alone, thinking a lot. I get here, the person that you are with or you love at this time, I get here, they feel like not really very confident about you and her. You are giving her number one and you want that commitment and she feel like not really the love between you two very strong. So it sounds to me that, you know, this is a responsibility for commitment too. I get here that the woman in your life, I get here that she is like a wife to you, even if she is not yet. You want her to be married to you, and she feels the same, like you know, that you are committed really very much. But she has been really going through emotional drama also herself. And I get here that you love each other, but hurting you and her with too many things, like you know, that... You did not progress. It's like <clears throat> we know each other, we love each other, we are on each other's side, but in the same time, your your feelings are hurt by each other. In the same time, but you still the you still together no matter what. But you are succeeding like you know, both of you together here. Because I'm finding like you know, that you have so much luck on your side at this time you and the woman that you love. The woman that you love, I get here she was involved with someone else before in the past, or it could be like she had been in a marriage that had been stand still, um, not physically with the, with the ex-husband, but she got a divorce and is over with that person. Or it could be like, you know, a long-term relationship, like, you know, that they had something together that they didn't finish, but she finished that relationship recently, 100%, and she doesn't want to be with the other person because she's committed to you at this time and she wants you. You had a lot of disappointment in your life also, like, you know, you are letting go and you are becoming stronger. You are pushing all of these disappointments away. You turn in the same circle like you know, with things sometimes, like you, know, you dwell on things that is not really necessary at this time. You feel like you know, the urge of responsibility, you want to be like you know, really getting bigger in the eye of the person that you love. You want to be with her. And I get here that you are having like you know, some conflict here and there, but it's not really threatening. You could, it could be like you know, that you are having arguments, uh, but little arguments here the disagreements is not really like no big deal it's kind of like i see like you know the biggest of really burden unhappiness anxiety worry depression is turning into something like no really better in the near future is coming to you because they say sometimes like you know the problem is too small you make it bigger it gets bigger 
You make it smaller, it gets smaller. So you think about the past or things like, you know, that happened or around you, some irritation here and there. You take it like, you know, as a big deal. It does really keep hurting you and upsetting you. So it's really better to let go, ignore things. You will be really feeling much better. I get here that also the woman that you love and you want to be with, she's like the wife to be. I get here, she have been really, really trying to heal also from things that happened to her in the past. She's really becoming like no better, like you know, in, in her uh, feelings, emotions. It could be like you know, that she have been hurt emotionally in a different relationship before in the past also. You had some disagreements also and you are both like you know, trying to understand each other and talk to each other at this time. You had disagreements um, the past one month or two. And I get here now, you are <coughs> you're coming to your sense again together. Excuse me. Um, you recently moved and you are changing your residence. She might like not really be having the help of her mom or or father or like it could be like you no know, anyone like you no know, in a family. And I get here that you are trying to re you relocated you are trying to find like you no know, a new job for yourself. You're gonna get a job like you know, in a week or two here also. Drinking at this time is not really gonna bring you any really something good like you no know, drinking like you no know, to kill the issue and the problem that exist. It's not gonna kill it. It's like you you become like you no know, more depressed from the alcohol, and you need like you know, just uh, to meditate on your situation and let it go. It's really best because it's not really getting you anywhere if drinking. Because I see that you know you are arguing and fighting with the person that you are around because of some sort of drinking because you sit in your shell and you don't talk much and you need to talk much like you no know, or express your feelings that's that will be better because i see her pushing you to talk and every time she's pushing you to talk and you are ignoring like you no know, really talking to her she scream and yell and you are you get irritable more because you feel like you know, she's becoming rude to you or cursing or and you don't like it. You ignore her because she cares at you. You don't want to talk to her because she cares at you. And, or kind of like no rude. And you ignore her more. And you are irritating her more by your silence. She needs you to speak up. Sometimes you decline things like you, know, you ignore things and you become undecided. And I get here the yep, I see her cursing at you and yelling at you. There's someone who's yelling, screaming, rude to you. And you don't like it. You both are on the right balance between uh, with each other. <clears throat> Sometimes I get here, you look into yourself, you don't want to talk to anybody, you irritate things. But I get, yep, I get here like, you know, if you are in business, there is good money coming in business. And if you are really like, you know, looking for a job, there is a new job coming. Something good about money. I see a purchase also like, you know, something like, you know, um, it's not a vehicle, it's something else. It could be like, you know, you purchased a vehicle already. It could be... Couches, a, recli a recliner, something like that. <laughs> I get here that she swear to God, if you repeat your mistake again and you pull that stuff on her, that she will walk away from you. She doesn't even like no want to deal with you. Look how mad and tough she is, the woman that you are involved with. 
she will just like, you know, I swear to God, I will just walk away and that's it. But at the end, I see you getting married. There is marriage for you. And you need to pay attention because like, you know, she can really get pissed really very much. But I see at the end, like, you know, you are both lucky. You believe in that woman. You want her. You love her. You care for her. You are attracted to her. She, you believe that she is the one. And she have a good heart. She have been helping you a lot. And you are emotional for her. She is emotional for you too. So relationship is going to continue and it's going to be good. But you cannot really like you know, just be overwhelmed with problems and silent. People like you know, she wants you to talk. She wants you to speak up. She wants to understand what you are going through for the problems. Doesn't really like you know just become like you no know, really more. Um, I hope you enjoyed your reading, dear Cancer. If you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com and the link for my website is below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.